So my name is Avi Golden. Uh, before, five, five, 10, 11, 12, 13 years ago, I was a paramedic in New York City um, at like Columbia Presbyterian and North Shore LIJ. And then later on, I will write and pass with a critical care and the, later a flight paramedic. So it's very, very, very cool. Um, Full-time at Columbia North Shore LIJ, or now it's Northville, whatever. And then uh, part-time at Columbia Presbyterian, or a lot of stuff, like Manis, Rosal, Victor, and stuff like that. It was really very cool. And also, I, I was working in Israel, uh, studying in Bar Ilan University, but in the evening, for three years, I went to Israel, uh, to Magen David Adom, to uh, Mada, and I ride as well. So it's really cool. Um, my mother is Israeli, so I am, I understand Hebrew and English together. But after the stroke, I understand Hebrew, but I don't speak, read, or write. Uh, but I'm still working, so we'll see. And then um, I was going to go to medical school. Uh, like my father, um, he has also, he, he was a MD as well, and he has a prolapse, uh, mitral valve prolapse. So he went to surgery twice and, and there's no problem. So, so I said in my head, I said, you know what, before medical school, I'm going to go to surgery and then go, and then go to medical school, uh, in the surgery. I have a stroke resulting in aphasia. So one year, all I can say is Michael. And I have no idea, even today, what, who is Michael? My, mm. uh, it's crazy. Uh, and everybody, EMS, police, firemen, laugh hysterically and said, who is Michael? And I say, Michael, 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 Michael. So yeah, it's crazy. And then Hemi Pierces. So uh, three months is in the hospital. I, I am, I was, go, I was in the bed because my arm and my leg is weak, but OT and PT and speech pathology uh, work with me together. So it's very, very cool. Um, so two months at North Shore LAJ and two months at Columbia Prison Rehab. Um, and then three months, three weeks, three, three months is uh, bed and then five or six months in, in the cane and then thank god is no cane as well um so i have broke aphasias so i understand everything but is speaking is very hard but i'm working every day today every day until even today so it's very uh good 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 um so but but Aphasia is very frustrating. Why? Because, um, for for example, I have uh, letters or n numbers or spelling or reading or writing. It's very complex and, and weird for me. Uh, so, for example, a speech pathologist says, okay, I'm going to say dog and you repeat dog. So I say, okay, no deal. So, speech pathologist said dog. And I say, in my head, dog, and out says cat. I said, wait, no, no, I meant dog. All right. So next day later, or five minutes later, it's one or the other, a speech pathologist says, okay, do it again, dog. And I say, in my head, dog, out says cat, but I don't realize the difference. So the speech pathologist says, no, you meant dog. And I say, me? No, no, it's not me. It's, my, it's your mistake, not mine, because I'm right. But then later, like one or uh, like five or ten minutes later, as a, you know what? I think it, it's wrong. Is me is wrong, but all right. But next day later, or five minutes later, it's one or the other again. The speech pathologist, okay, dog, and I say dog. So it's everything is different, but help me is very is okay. So like here in the first sound or command to cues, nuance dragon. Um, did you know nuance dragon as well? Okay, good. Uh, so, yeah. good. Do you, can I, you, can I, you, can I speak? Do you speak? 
do you like to speak about uh, Nuance Dragon? Do I? Yeah. I've used it. I've used okay. it um, in the, from the beginning, from, from the beginning of my stroke. Mm -hmm. But since in the past year or the past, it's three, been three years since I had my stroke. Okay. And it's been um, about a year and a half that I haven't needed to use it because I've been able to write. Good. Yeah, Good. I can write and I can I can read, but I can uh, read slowly, and I have to read it a couple of times to understand what I'm reading. But it's it's good it's good every every nuance day. dragon was very helpful actually it helped me write a essay for a program i did at Keene university really yeah but wow. uh, now i can write myself good excellent um so yeah nuance dragon or yeah so it's really cool uh and um, so Lawrence is a speech pathology. So she, he, she said, when a person with aphasia rabbed, rabbed with the speeches, the uh, first thing I tell them is different to teach the family, I love you. I squeeze my hand three times and then I said, you, I can, you can, in your, um, when you uh, think, um, you're think, thinking, I can, you can say, uh, uh, you can love them. So it's very good. Sorry. Uh, do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, so four months is in the hospital and then I go home. So I say, you know what? I want to read what is aphasia because before I was a paramedic, so I understand aphasia, but I don't really understand. I don't care because it's like, it's very small. So I went, so I say, you know what? I want to read what aphasia is. So I went to glossary, uh, paramedic textbook. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. First of all, I went to website to see a lot of stuff. So for example, Adler aphasia org is in New York City. Um, it's right there. And then Adler aphasia center, it's, uh, it's 10 minutes away from George Washington Bridge. So it's very close by. So I go twice a week to uh, Adler aphasia center. So uh, whatever you want, but you can speak with me about Adler Page Center and I will uh, email with you or with um, the uh, Adler Page Center and it's, it's very cool. Um, Mona Greenfield is a speech pathology in Union Square. So I go twice a week also to uh, Mona Greenfield with uh, a lot of students. So it's, uh, I. I am speaking, I am learning with a uh, Mona and a uh, students. So it's very, very good. To, um, and then Facebook has ARC Aphasia Recovery Connection. So David Dow, um, it's 10 years old. He has a stroke and aphasia. So her mother, Caroline, and a speech for the life together work together. And then, um, and then now they speak around the world talking about aphasia as well. Um, and then Caroline Dow, Caroline, uh, uh, my hug, uh, crap, sorry. Uh, the girl who is a, is together with uh, uh, David, she was a lawyer and then she has a stroke and aphasia. So they met and they said, you want to, you know what? I want to broadcast about aphasia. So now they have a website and a Facebook and it's 
10,000 people and it's powerful so you can you can go to uh, arc and it's amazing harvey alter he has a stroke after the surgery i mean after the uh, stroke so he went to the hospital and he says all right the language is gone but the music is there so i want to sing so the hospital says all right you can sing with me together so now uh, unfortunately he passed away now uh, but but he has he, he the people he every day will come as well and sing so you can look it up uh, international aphasia movement is uh, in new york city and it's three or four different locations so they sing together and it's wonderful um so it's 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 amazing so harvey alter and then one and a half years after this joke, I went to University of Michigan, six months intensive program, and it's very, very good. And then Bill O'Connelly is a speech pathology as well. So I Skype with him uh, one hour, uh, one month, every one month for like half an hour. So it was really cool. And then, uh, so, you know, in the hospital, uh, uh, everybody, uh, paramedics, police, firemen, hospitals like ERs and stuff like that come and say hey how are you and I see you and I say Michael 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 hello Michael Michael and somebody take a picture and send me and I say oh my god what is that is droop up like a droop down like what is that so thank god for me uh, I'm now now it's smiling so it's good but yeah uh and then I like sushi a lot so uh, Susie ta bought me a tons and tons of sushi and I gobbled up because it's yummy. So yeah. And then um, after the stroke, I went to work and it's uh, it right and it's garbage. A lot of, uh, I, I don't know how to do it anymore. So now I'm working with a speech pathologist together, working, 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 and it's getting better, but it's not so-so. But yeah, and then North Shore LIJ. And then um, 1013 is uh, in New York City is help, help, help. So EMS, police, firemen rushes for the band man or whatever. So a lot of people went to Mulcahy's in uh, not Nottentock and have a good time with me. Police, firemen, hospitals, uh, friends, families, whatever. This is really cool. And I like ties a lot. So I'll, everybody, EMS, police, uh, friends, you know, stuff like that. And then, um, and then you see the bottom is me and a girl who is uh, Susie Bamel. And he, I have a cane as well. So cane. So um, again, four months I was in the hospital and I would go home. So I said, you know what? I want to read what is aphasia more um so i went to glossary and i see it's four words difficulty naming other correctly and i say what the you know that's that's so wrong it's so it's nothing so um um i went to oh you know what one thing um for me also i like zoo a lot bronx zoo i love bronx zoo so a lot of people and me went to bronx zoo and i was in the passenger and i see the ambulance um, Columbia Presbyterian to say, ooh, Michael, Michael, stop. Michael, Michael, Ambion, stop. So somebody has stopped and I hobble up and I say, uh, hello. And Mike and Danny, a long time ago, was working together with me together. So Mike and Danny is like, hey, how are you? Nice to see you. What's going on? And I say, Michael, Michael, hello, Michael. Awesome. So yeah, it's really very, very cool. So National Aphasia Center, I mean, uh, is is program with EMS, police, firemen, and the hospital about a, uh, aphasia training awareness. So Elaine Gantry is a president and a speech pathology, and Stephen Sabalik together work with EMS or the hospital about aphasia, and one or two people who has aphasia speak about their story. So for example, Sumitan USA or New Jersey City Center, but also um, two years I am not driving, but then later I am 
driving later. So I am driving far away or flying or, and I spoke with a speech brother together um, about aphasia with a speech with I, Robert Michigan, a fireman, or Suffolk County Police, or Finney, or in Ushalim, Madgen uh, uh, de Dom in paramedics. So it was really very good. But also doctors, nurses, and PAs as well. So, for example, North Shore LGER, or North Shore uh, Columbia Brazilian Rehab Program. Or John Hopkins, uh, sorry, sorry, it's headache in Israel. Also, I speak again with a lot of people with these people together. So it's very, very good. And and I was going to go to medical school, uh, and then I have a stroke, so I went to the hospital to to uh, medical school guy, and I asked, "Is it okay to speak about aphasia?" with a medical school resident and they say yes. So a uh, Gail Weitzman is a speech pathology in a uh, post and he, she spoke about aphasia with a medical school resident. And then Dr. Peter, sorry, long name. Um, he was a MD, he was a pediatric MD and then he has a stroke and aphasia. So he spoke about his story. This is very powerful for me. So it's very cool. But also a lot of times I came, I come with a lot of people who has aphasia and speak about their story. Um, so like, for example, Lehman College or King College or Delphi, you know, stuff like that to speak about, um, speak w with me about uh, my story, but um, with speech by the students or OT students or PT students to under, uh, listen and ask questions. So it's very, very, very cool. And then kids as well. Um, and then I went to LA to speak with uh, Dr. Peter, sorry, long name again, random um, is uh, Dr. Blah, 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 sorry. Um, he, he is a, uh, surgery uh, stroke, um, very high. So he and I spoke with radio or uh, newspaper uh, to talk about aphasia. So it was very, very, very cool. Uh, and so also, please ask me questions, no problem. Whatever you want, you can ask me, either me or uh, my PowerPoint, so no problem at all, okay? So um, four months, out. Four years, I was in Asha. Asha is hearing. Uh, he, Michael. Asha is. Um, yeah. Uh, so they is like three days, and it's five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen thousand people learning a, a lot of stuff, and it's only speech pathology or speech pathology students like huge massive and I did not know that as well so I went to speak with uh, students like 5,000 people so everybody's eating and laughing hysterically so that's good as well but also um, expo is also huge expo is massive like huge so I went to to learn a lot of stuff like for example Lingraphica uh, or aphasia access or what well, you can see is Adler Aphasia Center. And then um, um, Boaz and Tova in Israel, he, they are EMT, but Tova wrote a paramedic textbook in Hebrew. So I, he, con I, con he, she taunted me and said, is okay to speak about his story, my story? And I said, yes. So I, I, uh, so it's really very, very cool. And then uh, Candy, her mother has massive stroke in um, a long time ago. So, so, so he, she says, you know what? I want to broadcast 
or DVD about It's For Me. So go ahead and look, uh, you can go to Amazon or go to Carly uh, and see, it's uh, really cool. And then um, also uh, is Amazon, it's called The Words Escape Me. So um, Gail, uh, author is Gail White, Elaine Gantry and uh, Moon Greenfield is a, is a, is a, is authors and they spoke with a lot of people who has aphasia and uh, and talking about their story so you can uh, again you can go to amazon or um and you can see it's really very very cool and then also uh brain brain injury support so it's the same idea same thing so you can go for new york new jersey connecticut you can drive, you can uh, go to the bus and have a good time as well. And then, well, and then also you can see a lot of magazine who has disability sports, disability. So you can see uh, uh, wheelchairs or amputee or, you know, stuff like that. So it's really very, very cool. Um, so, yeah. And then I... I went to the hospital to visit patients who had a stroke. So um, 10 years ago, I went to come to the hospital and I visit Joe who now lives in LA and I spoke with them about um, uh, what's going on. So it was really very, very cool. And then um, I went to see the movie, Carly McIntyre, he was an actor and then he has a stroke. So he says, uh, like 10 years later, he says, you know what? I want to broadcast about it, my mo movies. So you can uh, screen, you can uh, screening with aphasia of the movie. So you can go to Carly McIntyre or Amazon and buy. And it's really very, very cool. So, uh, so yeah. And then Chappelle Chase, uh, also he has a stroke as well. But before he was a director, so he and uh, Hillary Clinton is talking with uh, Chappelle about a long time ago. So it's very, very, very cool. All right. Okay. Any questions so far? Comments? No? I, I just want to make a quick comment. Um, I thought, first of all, it was really interesting you said for one year, the only word you were saying was Michael, but then you said slowly your vocabulary started to develop and you're saying, hello, Michael, 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 and forming sentences. And now you're here giving talks to everyone. So it's quite a journey. And I mean, I think after coming out from a stroke, you would have probably never imagined you'd get back to this point. I'm saying just one word for a whole year to talking to such large groups and you said you gave you gave a presentation for 5000 people so that yeah. was you, you know it's interesting but i'm working every day i'm working with a speech pathology or speech pathology student working every day um so i mean i like to go back to medical school but i don't know whether i going to go to medical school or not but i'm going to try but the, now i speak around the world talking about my story so they understand like ems or the hospital or people with aphasia to understand more and also having good time as well and you can see a lot of stuff to do as well because I, I i like to do a lot you know and and a lot of people is this disability sport a lot of disability sport uh, is is a lot of people are free so you can come and it's free and have a good time so it's very 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 cool as well yeah we like hi i'm sharik um we've like kind of been in communication we've talked a few times over the phone but it's like it's really great hearing your story and like really inspirational so thank you so much for sharing and like iman was saying like, it's the kind of journey from like not being able to speak one word to like speaking full sentences and presenting like you are it's inspirational in itself 
And also just like kind of like, like you said, you're aspiring towards becoming a future healthcare professional in some way, or like you're like, that's an aspiration, right? It keeps you going, it's information, that's awesome. Like yeah. it just like in that way, and like it's remarkable, like how the brain like really adapts. And like, I'm sure you know about neuroplasticity as like someone who's been in healthcare. It's like how your brain is just like kind of forming these connections over time and you're working with your speech pathologist. And yeah, like it's, I'm just like, it's, it's an honor to like hear your story. So thank you so much for sharing. For no, sharing. No, not a problem. Yeah. And, but, and by the way, you can see um, Allison Bernhardt, uh, he, she is a, a teacher, but he has, she is a stroke as well. So he, he, she spoke or Dennis also, and uh, Todd, I think Todd, uh, Todd Bernhardt, no, Todd, he Peter? went, yeah, Todd he went, Peter. yeah, he spoke uh, also, you know, so many speak, yeah, so it was really cool. So yeah, thank you. Not a problem. So here I will show you. This is moonlighting or riding horses in the winter or the spring, one or the other. Uh, zip um, parachute gliding, I don't know, whatever. It's really cool. <laughs> so it's really very, very cool in, in Israel. And zip lining. Paintball. Uh, in Manhattan, I don't know why, it's West Child Rifle and Pistol Rang, but whatever. And I have one handed. Um, so I have a, a block and I can shoot. Now is block, so you, I can shoot and it's really cool. So you can have a good time as well. And then Helen says Hospital and Berkeley have has tons of the disability sport. So a lot of people who have a disability come and have a good time together. So it's really cool. So for example, kayak or night kayak or uh, go to gliding. So a lot of people is gliding together with a pilot. And then also six people who is pilot, two of them has a wheelchair. They doesn't care. I don't care, whatever, have a, whatever it's, have a good time together. So it's really very, very cool. And then in the pool is scuba. But later, a lot of people went to uh, Bonaire and swim again. And it's really very, very cool. So, it, you know, so it's really very cool. And then rock climbing. So in Brooklyn is rock climbing or Queens. So you can go rock climbing and it's five dollars, you know. So it's really very, very cool. And I will show you the video as well. Um, so this is Carly, Carly who has aphasia as well. Carly is uh it's very hard to basically he has a wheelchair, except one or two times he's walking slowly. But he he before before the stroke, he loves ski. Uh, snowboarding love like black diamond like really cool so I, I it's really cool and i'll show you oh sorry There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, disability boxing in Brooklyn. So there's really three people who has a, a stroke have a good time together. So it's really cool. Hand cycling. So uh, 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 many people gliding, and uh, the guy, me and me, me and the guy who is green. So he now he has a stroke and aphasia as well. But before he was a paramedic in New York City, 
and he was a fireman. He was a fireman in New York City. Uh, and he loved he loved uh, sports. So he goes a lot of time with me together and have a good time as well. Helen's uh, life goes on is a uh, uh, snowboarding, not snowboarding, uh, sailing. So a lot of people who has a disability have a good time with uh, one or two, uh, many people together and have a good time together. So it's really very, very cool. And then uh, sail, book club. So a lot of people, again, is disability. So having fun for like one or two hours and then later lunch and it's free. And so a lot of people have a good time and eat. So, you know, have, it's really very, very cool. Yoga. Uh, and then uh, skydiving. So is, uh, I will show you the video. So yeah, so it's really cool. Do you want to come with me together? <laughs> yeah? Do you want seriously? You've offered you've offered that many you've offered that to me, Avi, Avi, but I'm not ready for it yet. <laughs> All right. But wait, wait one second. I will show you. Hold on. It's indoor sky. Yeah, oh yeah. Come on. So Kyle also has a facia as well, but here I will show you the video. Yeah. So do you want to come? Uh, is indoor skydiving? <laughs> where yes. where is this, Avi? Where where is this this um, location? So, so this is um, it's half an hour away upstate. Oh, from, upstate from, from my for New York City, or at huh. actually twenty minutes. Or now it's newer. It's one year later. It's in um, New York City. Sorry. Uh, Teaneck is very Teen. Oh, New very, Jersey. Yeah, is new. Oh. This is like one or two years ago. So yeah. Oh, okay. So indoor skydiving. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, Row New York or extreme kite. This is really cool. Or I love snowboarding a lot. Love it before the stroke. And after the stroke, I snowboard with a, one or two people and then I fall, I fall, but I get up and I fall and get up and I fall, but I really enjoy it. So it was really cool. And Chappelle and Carly is also coming and skiing as well. Tennis, disability tennis, <coughs> water ski or snowboarding, hot air balloon. That I've done. Oh, really? Yeah, I've done that. Uh, 
after the stroke or after, before the stroke? Before. Nice. And afterwards? Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to do it again. I mean, you could do it in New Jersey, but I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Wow. Yeah, I, that's why. That's why I did it before my stroke. But now you can do it in New Jersey also. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. think, is that what this was in New Jersey too? I think so. I don't know whether it's a long time ago, so I don't know yeah. where, but I I think every year in New Jersey, in yeah. like um, like one, one hour or one and a half hours away. Yeah. In, yeah. So, yeah. And then in zoo in Vermont and snow, I like mm. a lot of, a lot of dogs. And then snowboarding. So first of all, it's uh, very um, two two things. Number one, it's very very cold, like minus five percent, like freezing. Vermont, and second yeah. of all, I did not know it as well. Um, it's very very fast, like fifty five mile per hour. So I'm Ooh. screaming because <laughs> it's it's me, uh, two people, one me, and it's one handed, and I'm holding on like right there and I'm screaming but the motor is more than me so no one else knows that I'm screaming but thank god I'm here so we'll see <laughs> yeah we'll see and then swimming or uh, I don't know what's going on uh ski bike whatever so here I will show you oh I love these Elfin skis. <laughs> there you go. All right. But it's very, very fast for me. Very, very fast. Oh, I love golf. And then also, I, it's very funny or not funny. I don't know why. Four people is blind. See the dogs, and yeah. they are golf. And I don't know. Maybe he they says okay, go fetch them, whatever. I don't know. But here I will show you the video as well for the golf. All right. The person who sinks first gets a backpack. <laughs> don't worry, I'll give you a backpack. Okay, and then uh, also, um, oh, also I went to uh, Cancun to see dolphins, sea lions, and manta rays. It was very very cool. Or uh, I went uh, five, six, seven months ago before the virus, um, and I went in um, uh, every year or two years. Everybody who has aphasia went to ARC, uh, ARC with uh, cruises. So a lot of people have a good time together. So mm -hmm. I went to uh, Stingray City, but also uh, the the weather is uh, dark and they cancel everything else. So I'm sad, but I was going to swim swim with pigs <laughs> so, <it was> really <laughs> great. so yeah wow yeah pig beach wow yeah it's is really cool so you can come with uh uh cark and uh, go to cruise and have a good time with uh swim with pigs as well but uh snuba or archery so here i will show you the video you taught me like two years ago, right? and I was there, I'm a shrink or something. You're around positive people doing positive things. I know, we were I just mean, talking about that. I mean, to be up to the football team. Nice. Good shot. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. All right, yes. man. I, I came, I saw it. I came. <laughs> <laughs> right there. That's how you roll. Nice job. Right, good job. Man. Yeah, just saying is two times I 
shooting and one time I is uh, X-Men. So I have no idea why or how, but yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> and then Valkyrie. So uh, No Barry Summit is a disability sport and I will show you the video. I can show you the talk, uh, talk but Valkyrie. So I go twice, twice for Valkyrie. It's amazing. So everybody who has disability stand up and uh, they have a glove with and and the Valkyrie are flying and catches for me and eat for me and then going going back. Fantastic, fantastic. And then Arctic paws in, in Poconos. So have a good time together. And things to do like dancing or rugby. And then also everybody also is very cool. So everybody together have a good time together. So train show or natural history or polar bear club in the winter or uh, uh, walk on the Hudson. Or also you can go as well to uh, New York um, and have a good time. It's called Ability Expo. So every year, um, every year is coming to New York City and it's free and it's people who have disability learn a lot of stuff. So for example, uh, uh, cars or vans who has disability or disability sports or whatever is really cool. So you can look it up for abilityexpo.com with either Washington DC or LA or San Francisco Bay or you know stuff like that. So it's really very very cool. And then uh, pull, uh, Museum of Arts or Intrepid. But also No Barry Summit again is a disability sport. So every year in the summer is a lot of people who have disability is like one thousand people have a good time together in the evening uh, in the morning. And then in the evening, a lot of people who has disabilities speak about their story. So for example, Eric Weinerb is, he, he is a president of No Berry Summit, but he is blind. He doesn't care. So he long time ago was in, he was, he is, he was in walking with Mount Everless and walking to the top of the mountain, or he goes another, uh, is kayak for is a five rapid kayak like crazy 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 he has no arm he has no um uh, um uh, blind and he doesn't care so it's really very very cool and then another eric uh sorry kyle who who is uh he has uh your mother his mother has in the belly button he has uh, no arms no legs he doesn't care so Eric and Weinerberg again was going to another mountain and climbs as well. So it's really very very cool. So you know, and Bob Woodworth is a sports, and he has a TBI. So it's really interesting people who has speak about their story. So it's really cool. Um, unfortunately, uh, in the virus is gone, so he they have. Uh, uh, bit, uh, virtual. So yeah. So next year, I don't know. Next year is another uh, country, but I don't know what country is then. But yeah. My hi. My name is Maria, and my question is that um, how can we get connected with this organization, or what is the name of the organization? Sure, absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna email with uh, um, Skype, not Skype, um, your thingy. And you, I have a list of uh, disability sports. So you can see a lot of sports, including No Berry Summit. So yeah, okay. Okay. But yeah. Uh, summit, and then we just uh, search uh, for it. Either search for it, or you can web go to the website, or you can contact it as well. It's contacted, 
or websites, one or the other. Or and both. how much uh, are these trips cost? So about five, six, seven, seven, seventy-five. Seventy-five percent is free. It's free. So you can. Seventy percent is free. Okay. Free. Yeah. And then twenty percent money, but very not significant. So, for example, th uh, No Barrier Summit is a disability sport. It's three days, and it's only one thousand. Sorry, one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars for three days, but the only mm -hmm. is uh, uh, is airline and hotel is expensive. But uh, every year I go with three people together, and and they um, so it's it's it is money, but it's less than. Uh, it's less, so it's very, very good. Do you, do you understand me? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and I and I will show you the video. I mean, I'll show you the the, the list of email. So it's yeah, it's really very, very cool. Thank um, you. No, not a problem. Not a problem. And then also Adler Face Center. First of all, Adler Face Center again is ten minutes away from door to door bridge. So very close by it. So maybe you can come, so you can look, um, or you can, maybe you can come and have a good time with a lot of things. But every year is, uh, is um, Adler Face Center has uh, present for uh, plays. So basically everybody who has aphasia talk with a lot of uh, plays so like for example Greece or uh, Beauty and the Beast or whatever so it's very very cool mm. and um, I was a paramedic and then I lost a paramedic but I really really uh, enjoy it is is very cool so I I went and uh, write and I passed so um, basically four years after this show obviously working is working volunteering but working today so it's very 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 cool um and gems um so yeah don't worry about it it's good so please email or call me or skype me or facebook me it was really very cool and that's it so comments or chat or whatever more, more questions yeah i'll be i'll just kick us off with comments <laughs> Firstly, I just want to say congratulations on being EMT again. That's really awesome. It's Thank really you. awesome. I, I really, really, um, I'm really, really appreciative of the fact that like, and also I'm like very inspired by the fact that you just like aspired towards that goal and you achieved it. And like, you really had this like amazing journey too, where you're like kind of talking to people, you're raising awareness about like such an important, uh, and like how you're coping with it personally, but like how other people can cope with it too. So that's great work with community building. Thank you for that. Not a and problem. Also, I just want, sorry, yeah? No, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna say, um, also feel free to, uh, we're happy to like share your contact details and like any websites or information that you wanted to share with all the attendees and any other members of the peer support group. And like anyone who would like be interested in attending uh, one of the disability sports events, if you send that to us, to synapse that is to Iman, who we were in contact with. She is happy to share that with everyone. Okay. So that's going to make it easier. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. And I will email right uh, soon. Soon. Um, but, I, but I have a question as well. Is is okay to take a picture together? O sure. Also? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, whatever you want. But yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Iman, I'm thinking if you can like have your, if you can set up the chat, um, the Zoom windows, the image windows, uh, sorry, videos, in okay. like um, classroom mode or something. I don't know like if yeah. you can do that with admin. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think, yeah, is, um, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, like Okay. Definitely. Uh, if you like, if you would have to stop sharing your screen first, Avi. I think. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna take a picture. Is it is yeah. okay? Yeah, go okay. for it. All right. Um, if that's All right. okay with you, what if? 
Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. But, yeah. And sure. okay. not, then just turn off <laughs> Yeah, if, if yeah. it's not okay with you, you can just turn your video off. Okay. Okay. So, smile. Great. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, and smile. Awesome. And I'm going right. to email. Can we see it? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, one second. I have I have no idea. Let's see. Meetings. Uh, chats. Hmm. I also took a picture, so I can definitely share it and like uh with Iman who's gonna email it to you alongside like all the websites that you shared, Avi. Okay, great. And then I will yeah. uh, Facebook with everybody together. So yeah. Um, cool. and, I, and I will send you uh, with Disability Sports and yep. you can email or call me or whatever. And yeah, and that's it. So yeah. Sounds good. Right. Yeah, just like send it out in an email to everyone who attended. Cool. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Thank Ollie. you so much for your information. And uh, I admire you for all your adventures you have been um, attending and probably it changed your life. Well, uh, well I, I'm just saying you can come as well and have a good time as well, you know, because you can, you know, let's go. <laughs> one or two times you can, you can go and have a good time. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I've, I've known now, I've known you now almost two and a half years and you never, you're always impressing me what you do. And I thank you for that. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, always. Absolutely. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful day. You're obviously. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Wow. Bye.